What's up, y'all? Happy Thursday. I hope that your week has been going well. Mine has celebrated 420. That was fantastic. My co-founders and I at Estro Hayes, we hosted a Rise and Vibes session. We played games. We um, talked self-care with Jane Green, a.k.a. Tanjanika Daniels, who is a cannabis veteran. And we just had such a good time. And I am just glad to be back. Glad to check in. I know I am off by two videos, but it's cool. I'm here today to give. And today I wanted to give y'all a story time. But first, puffing on my trusted crafty vaporizer. It's pretty cute. pretty nice. But today I wanted to do a story time and talk about my worst dining experience. My worst dining experience. It definitely was one of the most bizarre experiences I have ever had. Um, I have worked at a restaurant before. I've worked in fast food before. I worked in, um, really really nice restaurant in new york <laughs> so i am aware of also service levels on on a back end and i mean this was a a hot ass a hot ass mess and like when i think about it sometimes i just get enraged because i'm like what like i still you know what was that so i'm gonna just jump right in i was visiting my hometown in the DMV for business. And while I was there, I ended up going to go hang out with my homegirl, who I went to middle school and high school with. Like, we've known each other for a really, really long time. And occasionally, like, we'll talk all, all the time, and then maybe a month or two months go by, and we don't talk. But, like, we were like, let's, like, really just get together. And we hadn't seen each other in quite a while before that. So there was also like a lot of kind of like relearning going on. So anyway, we go to this restaurant. Really, really cute restaurant. Had indoor, outdoor. My parents had been there like a couple of Sundays prior for brunch and they were like, oh, you're going to love it. It's really, really, really good. And they had seafood. So I was really excited. I was like, yes, okay, this is going to be great. My friend goes that her friend also works there. She's a bartender, so she'll be, you know, she's going to be working there. Okay, great. So, you know, discount on food, whatever. I, I'm excited to go. And quite honestly, I really wasn't thinking about drinking because, you know, I was good. I, I, I was good. So we get to the restaurant. We get seated. We ended up sitting at the bar, outside bar, and the girl's friend was just, my friend's friend was just a lot. Oh, she was a lot from the start, and I was already in a very good, <laughs> mellow space, and she, <laughs> for whatever reason, her spirit just wanted to try to usurp power from, from mine, because it was a lot. So let me tell you what happened. So we're there. I'm looking at the menu. I'm just perusing. It's a lot of good stuff. She's kicking the bartender, who's my friend's friend, and her. They're kicking back and forth. But the girl was, like, complaining a little bit. She was complaining about the fact that she was working inside the main dining area, but the manager put her outside. Now, here's the thing. Girlfriend was uncouth, to say the least. She was loud. She was boisterous. It was a lot of hands and air and, and, you know, but y'all can get this and what about that? Is you drinking? No, I'm good. I'm not drinking. Okay, you don't want nothing to drink? No, girl. I'm fine. I don't, I don't want anything to drink. I'm fine. Thank you so much. Okay, all right. My homegirl, she gets herself a cocktail. Homegirl comes up again. You sure you don't want 
to drink? Yes, I am sure. I don't want anything to drink. Thank you. Thank you. But I do know what I want to order. So I put my order in. Me and my homegirl, we rapping. We starting to catch up. Chilling. Chilling. Going good. Going good. 30 minutes go by. Homegirl comes out. She's inside. I don't know why he put me out here. Like, why do I gotta be out here? She herself has had two shots. I gotta tell you that. She's also drinking at the bar while she's serving other people. So she's her personality is already a lot. And now it's just becoming a lot -er, even more. And it's like, oh my God. She was honestly, she was blowing my heart. She was blowing my heart. And that was the reason why I was not drinking. Because I had had a tincture earlier. I was there working on cannabis work with my co-founder. We had split up. She was doing her thing with her people. I was hanging out with my girlfriend. But I was already mellow, mild, and just truly enjoying life. She continues to want to push alcohol on me. I'm like, girl, you don't know if I just had a baby, if I am in recovery. But you want to keep pushing me like... Get the hell on. I'm good. I am good. Now, you behind the bar. You drunk. And it's really starting to sink in the fact that you are not working in the inside dining room. I guess that's where you want to be. I don't know. Maybe you make more money on the inside instead of the outside. But the outside was jumping. I mean, the food, I can say, so good. Oh, the food was so good. It was seafood. They have crabs. They have you know, shrimp, shrimp and grits. Uh, I, the, I believe the desserts are also made there, which is really important to some people. It's important. It's important to me. Um, I mean, everything, all of the food was good. And I was like, enjoying it. Catching up with my friend in betwixt you trying to interject yourself every five minutes to either ask me if I want something to drink and then get upset at me because I do not. Girl, <laughs> so then that other questions go through my mind. How do you know her? Why do you know her? This girl's fucking lot. She's a lot. She's a whole lot. A whole lot that I, I know why you're outside. I don't know why you don't know why you're not outside. But this, this is why you're outside. You're, at this point, homegirls getting hammered at the bar. She walks away for a while. My homegirl's like, Sabrina so engaged with her. Don't be like that. And I was like, that's your friend. I'm not en engaging with her. She's the bartender as far as I'm concerned. Like, and she's doing a lot. Like, she would be the reason why I would not come back to the restaurant. And despite the fact that the food was fantastic, came out, great timing. But Jesus Christ, you are giving me too much. And just when you thought, it couldn't get any worse. Uh, and my friend's trying to encourage me to engage with this girl. She don't need nobody. She needs some water. She, she needs a come to Jesus moment. We look back behind us because it starts to get loud. Look back behind us. What is old girl doing? <laughs> ah, this bitch is at the table with some friends of hers who are are eating crabs and she's eating crabs and i mean not like crab legs like you gotta open up these crabs you know if you you know maryland maryland crabs like that's for some people for me like that's a part of my enjoyment of having crabs and having that moment is open it up breaking it down she is on the clock y'all she's on the clock but she is now <laughs> But now she's back here opening crabs and eating them. It's like, when you turn around, she finally realizes, she goes, oh, y'all y'all need y'all good? Y'all need something? I befuddled, befuddled. And I just looked at my friend and just shook my head. I just said, okay. Well, this was great. This was great. Because at that point, I was irritated. She was just blowing my high because she was just a lot just obnoxious for no good reason other than, I guess she just wanted some attention. 
You know what I mean? I, I don't even know. I don't even know. But I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. And I mean, it was a horrible experience. Like, I wanted to hit the Uber and say, you know what? I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. You don't, have, you don't have to drive me back. I'm going to just get the hell on. But my friend sensed, you know, it was time to go. Because I was, at that point, I was just, I had no energy for it. I was like, why? I don't need to talk to you. I need to pay for my meal. And I need to keep up with my discernment and my spiritual practice because <laughs> I don't know how y'all know each other. How could y'all be friends? It just, it seemed unbalanced. It seemed unbalanced. And the truth of the matter is, it was unbalanced because fast forward to the present, I'm going to say that this was maybe two two years ago that this happened. They not friends. Me and my homegirl, we friends. But those two, they ain't friends. Why? It's just crazy. It's just crazy. And I did ask after that, does that girl still work there? <laughs> and my friend was like, mm-mm, no, nah, she don't work there no more. And I, <laughs> I, I said I bet. And that was that. That was my worst dining experience. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments because... <laughs> It was just a lot, but I will go back to that restaurant. The food was good. I can't even remember the name of the restaurant. That's the real shit. I can't remember the name of the restaurant, but that's not shocking to me because I know me. I know how to get there, though. I know how to get there, and that's all that really matters. So I'm going to keep it moving. And I can't believe that these nails have held on as long as they have. Isn't that crazy? Miss Rona, honey, shutting us all down. Okay, but that was my story time. Thank you for watching. I will talk to y'all another time. Bye.